10,800 pounds, a new floor plan at the time of this filming, the Cougar 362 rear kitchen fifth wheel here at Halet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. And first of all, dang, she's a looker. Man, that thing's got some sharp eye appeal, but that's just me. Um, but what this does is it gives us, what Cougar's really begun to specialize in is giving you bigger RV feels in a smaller package. I mean, at 10,800 pounds, this is all day, every day, comfortably three-quarter ton towing and goable. So it's not just made for destinations, although I think the floor plan works amazingly well for that. I think this could be an awesome model for what I call snowbirds and sunbirds, maybe people who live here where it gets cold, and then you, uh, like, a, like a flying V pack of ducks, you migrate south and follow the sunshine, and frankly, I'm not, uh, I'm not thinking you're silly, I'm just jealous. <laughs> Now, usually, when you get opposing slides in a big fifth wheel like this, you get pretty much cut off on everything. But, this 362 Cougar is a little bit different. First of all, when you come downstairs like I'm doing here, I love this little handrail system you got. But you notice, because it's not opposing slides with an island in the middle, you can actually sneak through there quite a bit. Now, full admission, I'm not trying to smokescreen anyone into anything. The slide out on our left, the entertainment and pantry slide, does block access to the refrigerator in transit. However, other than that, other than the fridge, which don't get me wrong, I get that the fridge is a critical, important piece of potential traveling access. You have pretty impressive, like cabinet storage uh, access back here in the, uh, you know, in your kitchen living room area. And again, that's something that opposing slide out models don't typically offer. So I think somebody really had their thinking caps on when they put this one together and said, how can we give people maximum access with minimal loss? And that's usually not something you get in a rear kitchen. And this floor plan is just a concert of efficiency. And what I mean by that is there's a lot of models out there that have what I think is wasteful space and wasteful seating. Now it does, it can have a purpose, but what I'm getting at is there are a lot of models that have a uh, like a theater seat, like we see here in the bottom right, with a pair of trifold high-to-bed sleeper sofas. And I know that occasionally the extra sleeping space there is kind of useful, but very rarely, very rarely in a couple's RV do you need seating space in the living room for six people, and in a couple's RV do you need sleeping space for six people. So instead, across from that, what we have is this amazing dining and entertainment station and I think it is such a more efficient use of space with an awesome rear kitchen. The kitchen in this floor plan is just amazing. Before we get there, up top you do have a max air vent fan so if you do want to get some extra heat or just bonus airflow in the RV you can. Um, and you've got, speaking of airflow, I can't even speak all of a sudden, cross breeze windows all over the place. And something you'll notice as we go through, they have like a, uh, a wooden style blind. It works like a pleated nightshade, but it is a much, much higher grade uh, fixture right there. And that's something I don't know how many people really appreciate what that is. What I like about it is that it is far more rugged and you can clean those things because pleated shades are a murder to clean. Now you've got this big, open, spacious living area here. We've already talked about the extra seating from this, this bonus sofa. And what's great is the entertainment view from the sofa is excellent. And you can see how you have breeze windows all the way around there. And they even went ahead and said, hey, why not? We'll throw some bonus storage up in that slide too. I am always a sucker anytime I get kitchen bar stools like this because it takes me back to when I was just a grandkid and my grandmother would sit me at her countertop and she'd make me a bowl of cereal or a sandwich or something, and it just always transports me back in time. But back here, you can see that in the kitchen, we have solid surface counters, and this floor plan has more of them than any other Cougar. We also have some incredible cabinet storage capacity here. And those cabinets are not just big, but you can see how they even threw a shelf in them to really double and maximize your capacity. Anywhere they had a chance, they opened up everything in this kitchen for just maximal uh, potential storage capacity. Uh, as we come down here, I, the dual windows here to give you excellent light and visibility in the kitchen, that was just a stroke of genius. And this thing has, uh, I, I spent like five seconds Googling it, guys. I took a picture and I said, how much counter space is this? And Google went, holy crap. I mean, it's, <laughs> this thing has holy crap counter space. 
you've got immense prep area here and what helps maximize it is the uh, sink cover and there are dual sink covers for that stainless sink and uh, as well as this uh, tempered glass stove cover over here now down below below the oven they went ahead and said hey why not we'll go ahead and keep the uh, the good storage vibes on going with a huge area for a wastebasket down there and I've got some schmutz on my lens I need to clean so pardon the uh, ugliness there but plenty, not just tons of cabinet space easy access drawers here in the kitchen now the uh, the elevated dining bar obviously you can get to half of it over here but if I come around the corner you scoot one of the stools and blammo you can see that you can get to every ounce of that and did you notice you see that how there's that bright line right there there's indirect lighting under that countertop which is absolutely awesome for uh, like nighttime dining or uh not dining pardon me nighttime uh sleeping and navigation of the rv 12 cubic foot gas electric four-door fridge freezer so this thing has plenty of capacity for those snowbird long-term users with a full bonus drawer below now to the left of that there's an extra cabinet that can open, and I opened the rest of the pantry here to give you an idea of how big and how deep and how functional that is. Plus, <laughs> we're still not done, the TV. Not only can it swing out for easy viewing, so if you want to sit over here at the dining table and you want to have just an amazing view of your entertainment center, ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if it can possibly get better than that, but it also means easier access to storage space behind the TV as well as the plugs behind the TV if you feel like upgrading from just that Bluetooth DVD player to like a satellite entertainment system or a Blu-ray. Although, again, you've always got excellent uh, angles and visibility on that TV. That's one of the best parts of this floor plan. There is no bad seat in the house. There's just no bad seat. Now, in the uh, the main slide over here, you can see how you have these backlit LED light panels within the slide fascia. What's kind of cool about that is for what I like to call stealth mode lighting, which is, uh, you know, like in the morning or at night, if you don't want the main bright light cabin uh, lights on, uh, you can turn on just some indirect lights. Now, we're going to talk more about that in just a second, but first I just want to give you a good look at the dining arrangement on here. And although the light's killing me right now, uh, because all the light's coming in on the door side of the RV, so I had to pull some shades, imagine the visibility and the airflow you're going to get here, because it's not just these two big windows. It's this extra window over here. And did you notice that motion light kick on? That's a three-way switch light, on, off, and motion mode, so that it kicks on when you're moving, whether you're going up and down stairs or navigating in and out of the RV. Um, so, I, I said we'd come back to some lighting. The lights above the dining area there, which, first of all, just aesthetically, this thing is just very attractive, the way that this is all arranged. But, the lights above the dining area are on a dimmer switch as well. So, if you want a little extra dining lighting, but you want to kind of kill the main cabin lights, you can. Now, this RV benefits from something called an in-command system, which is a, a, a really superior upgraded wiring system compared to conventional RV uh, construction. You can control your main cabin lights, your bedroom lights uh, from it, but it's up there in the hallway, kind of next to the bathroom door. If you're sitting on that theater seat or you're back here in the kitchen or something, you don't want to necessarily have to walk all over the RV to play with the lights. Well, you don't have to because they still give you living room light switches and they give it to you on the like as far away from that panel as they can to always give you the shortest walking distance to those uh, light switches possible or you could just sync it to your phone and activate it from your phone too so we've got uh, the uh, rear facing cinema seating right here kind of a wall hugger arrangement so you're never gonna have to wrestle that thing around but what's really cool is how well it plays nice with your guest sleeping space over here in the form of that trifold sleeping sofa. And despite being an awesome couples camper, you've got an awesome entertainer's RV here too. And again, that's what's so impressive about the fact that this thing's only 10,800 pounds, you know? There's a lot of feature, a lot of storage, a lot of potential wrapped up in that 10,800 pounds. So on the left, we've got a full adult-sized trifold sleeper sofa. But, uh, you know, so it's not just a grandkid sleeper, although you could easily throw a couple grandkids there. And you could go ahead and steal yourself a snooze while they're winding down for the night because you can still kick your feet up on the left-hand theater seat and you can fully recline, even with the hide-a-bed open, on the right-hand theater seat. So, you know, good grandkid sleeper, but you could also sleep two adults over here as well. So, uh, I mean, the, uh, the possibilities, again, for entertaining, whether it's family, friends, guests, they are many and varied in the 360 Cougar here at Haylet RV of Coldwater, Michigan. 
Now from here we can kind of continue on upstairs and one of the cool things here, anytime you get that very residential, almost staircase looking thing, you also end up with just this ridiculous storage wall right by the entry door. And this is another one of those things where this is very traveling friendly, but they just, I mean, they just went nuts with the uh, this whole wall from floor to ceiling. Yeah, it's pretty tall. You might need a two-stepper or something to get up there. But the fact is, it's storage. You can always find something to do with a cabinet, but you can do nothing if there is no cabinet. Now the big middle open bank there, that's like a huge dual coat closet with plenty of room. Extra little spot for like hats and gloves above, below. And then these doors are so darn big, I have to close this thing just to show you. Yep, there's more of it. I mean, you know, they, they just went crazy. And again, huge windows everywhere and every window in this thing is going to open for awesome, awesome airflow. I also like, let me close this to take a look how nice and big and wide these, I'm gonna call it a landing, not just a step, this is a landing, if you will. It makes very easy navigation up here. Now, uh, as we come up into the bedroom and the bathroom, remember that your in-command system can allow you to sort of like operate all of your lights right from the panel or from the switches in the bedroom or bathroom. Um, another thing I wanna point out while I'm standing right here is how like, all of the doorways in these things are fully framed out. You've got three inch fully studded walls here. And what's kind of cool about that is it, it I, I swear it's one of the reasons why we have such good structural records with these Cougars. But then again, that it's no surprise that why they're able to offer that three year structural warranty. Another note, this is very important. We are looking at an optional second air conditioner added to the bedroom of this Cougar to give you maximum airflow and potential. And normally I forget about this, but uh, if you look up in the closet on the left-hand side, do you notice how there's uh, USB and household outlets with a little stand right there so that you've always got a place to have like a phone charger, a place to set your keys, your wallet, your whatever. You know, you've, you've got a great spot for it. We have also put in the 70 by 80 king bed upgrade in this one, which is an optional piece of equipment. We'll come back to the, uh, the bed space in a minute. The cabinet to the right of the wardrobe is washer dryer prepped. And uh, another thing here is your TV in the bedroom, always standard in Cougar, uh, big fifth wheel RV. And what's really interesting to me is that trend of like what was old is new again. Um, if you're really paying attention, you can see how the upper deck of this thing, it's very similar to the formerly known as 344 MKS. Now it's like a 361 RLW or something like that. But the upper deck of these two RVs is very similar. You've got that combo washer dryer prepped cabinet back there. Big viewing window with another of those very nice shades. You notice how they don't skimp on the shades once you leave the living room. Um, and uh, excellent dresser space down here. Now I said we'd come back to the bed. The only hiccup with this floor plan is it's kind of uh, positioned in a way that it's difficult for me to get a good wide angle shot of that king bed. What I do want to point out though, is how we have great cross breeze windows on both sides of the bed, as uh, you know, as well as this extra little stand over here. Because this floor plan is a little bit bigger, they were able to put the extra stand right in here. Now, one of the questions I get all the time in these uh, RVs is, what is that thing right there? You'll see a couple of these through the camper, and that is a thermostat probe, because uh, that's what communicates with your in-command system so that uh, your RV knows how hot or how cold it is. Now, what's cool about that? So imagine, you're laying over here, guys. You're sleeping soundly, but you wake up and maybe you're a little too warm, you're a little too cool, something like that. You can grab your phone and you can play with your furnace, your air conditioner. You can control even your heating and cooling from your bed without ever even getting up. Pretty darn cool. Now, bathroom is dual entry. And one of the things I like, let me take a step back. You know the way that that bedroom door opens? The bedroom door always opens so that the bedroom slide can't crush it. That was just smart, good execution. Somebody had their head on straight there again. Again, this whole RV is pretty well done. Great linen space in here in the bathroom. Floor to ceiling. Plenty of extra room for extra like body washes and toiletries. And uh, you can see we've got a porcelain foot flush stool. Not a cheaper plastic model or anything like that. And there is still a corner seat contained within this shower. So if you do like to sit to bathe, whether it's for personal comfort or just, you know, safety if you've got a hitch in your giddy up or a bad hip or something like that. You're going to be good to go there. And uh, this being an atypical Cougar bathroom, they were able to put 
a little bit larger uh, vanity in here, and you are also gaining extra countertop space. Now up here in the bathroom, we have a pressed membrane counter. Because this is a high liquid volume area between the shower and water dripping and the sink and everything, they made sure that they still put like a, a waterproof material up here. And you notice how you've got plenty of extra counter space with a GFI protected outlet. So whether it's shavers or blow dryers or whatever, you got the perfect place for it. Now, right up front here, below that fully automotive painted nose cap, which is what's kind of cool about that is Keystone owns their own paint shop. They cover that in-house. So uh, the fact that they do it in-house means they can also guarantee it in-house. And that is actually part of their three-year structural warranty. But what I was getting at is the uh, Road Armor shock dampening pin box up here, which is something previous generations of Cougars did not always have to help give you a smoother, better ride. You can also see they call it the Cougar Hitch Vision, the little reflective plate to help you spot your kingpin when you're backing up, as well as a hitch assist light up there. Now one thing, I don't know why, I forget to talk about it a lot. If I take a knee down here, you can see one smooth radius arc under that nose cap. That's because Cougars have a one uh, piece smooth aluminum beam wrapping around the nose of that. They do not have a, uh, a cut and dog-eared uh, upper deck structure in that area. And that is a significant structural improvement right there. And it's one of the reasons why we probably have such good structural records with these. And how about those raised bubble cougar letters right there just reflecting light off that thing like my balding forehead. Man, that looks better than my balding forehead. <laughs> Four-point auto leveling system. You know, makes this thing sturdy and stable with the simple push of a button. And how about how large this front cavity is up here? You have a full spare. You don't have a reduced size spare. And it is plenty comfortable with room to spare next to the spare up in here. <laughs> Easy access to your docking lights too, which is kind of a neat thing. Now, over here, because this baggage door opens under the bedroom slide, they gave it some struts to hold itself up, which is kind of cool for easy, easy access. We've got our fully enclosed privatized docking center with those protected heated enclosed gate valves, battery disconnect, your black tank flush, uh, side mount solar prep, and up top here, you do have a full outside utility shower that that little blue coily hose will spot eventually will go to. Then key TV over here. This is a Keystone proprietary exclusive thing. Basically, you don't need that silly signal antenna booster switch anymore. Uh, effectively, the key TV system will figure out what you're trying to do and route signal accordingly. Now, uh, since we're standing here amidships, I want to look at the fact that we have all LED tail and marker lighting. They're not using incandescent bulbs here. Now, stuff you can't see. Uh, how they have achieved their 0 to 100 degree rating. They This used to be called Polar Package Plus, and it was 0 degree rated, but they've enhanced it further because they, they basically made all of their Cougar packages consistent. So we start with a heated enclosed belly. You have uh, heat reflective layering in the belly, the, uh, the roof, the nose, above the nose cap. They've done a very good job of making sure there's not going to be any thermal gaps. Um, they also have uh, direct forced air heated underbelly with uh, forced air terminations blowing hot air directly onto the holding tanks. And then of course, 12 volt tank heating pads. Now back here, right, uh, I guess in front of technically, this little rear accessory hitch we'll talk about in a moment. We do have a sewer hose caddy to keep that stuff away from your other camping stuff because that stuff you don't want to mix with stuff if you follow me. We also have, uh, as I just mentioned, that two inch receiver hitch on the back here. So you can do things like add a bike rack or a small generator tray without voiding the industry's most comprehensive three-year structural warranty. Doesn't that make sense? Also, not only are these all LED, but you have reverse travel lighting on your taillights. You shift into reverse on your vehicle, that thing will ignite just like a, a backup light would on your vehicle, which is very handy. If you do choose to utilize that uh, backup camera prep that you see up top on the rear wall, you've got the perfect place for it. But what's kind of cool here is uh, that is something that we can add for you here at Halo RV at, at, at the exact same money they can do it from the factory, basically. That's one of those things that you don't need to have factory installed, and having us throw a camera on the back does not hurt your warranty. Neat little bonus feature for you up top there. We've got our service manager, Mr. Chris, making sure she's in good shape. One of the things that we do for you here at Halo RV is we do a surface inspection on every RV before we even inspect it from the factory. And then it actually goes through at least one, if not two, full burn cycles on all your appliances to make sure those are in good working order. Now, I want to zero in on a couple things over here on the slide outs because Cougar is hands down the most carbon copied fifth wheel ever produced. There have been more Cougar clones and quote Cougar killers than anything else out there. But yet here's Cougar still killing it. Um, 
the difference here is I think Cougar being the original, and if you think about it, a lot of the clones are kind of like a photocopy off a photo machine. Photocopies can be functional, they can be okay, but I don't think they're the same. They're always a little grainier, they're always missing fine details. For instance, if you feel under this little trim here, there's a little inversion groove. That is so that water beads up and drips down and doesn't wick into your subfloor. They always have a triple sealed slide system. If I peel that back, you can see a second wiper seal plus an interior bulb seal there. We've got a seal gripping slide wall to make sure those wiper seals do their job. And you can see how these bulb seals are lighter colored where they touch the trailer. That's a really neat little detail. This doesn't necessarily improve the seal function, but what it does, guys, black seals when compressed against a sidewall and then heated by the sun because the side of the seal is still exposed will cause those ugly foam black streaks down the side of the trailer and you don't have that here. Another thing is like you saw you know Mr. Chris climbing up there and I've climbed on my share of RV roofs. Most fifth wheels are going to have a walkable roof. That's not even a question but Cougars have walk-on slide boxes as well. A lot of brands don't talk about that because I'm not sure a lot of brands have it. Good rule of thumb, ladies and gentlemen, and it's a guide, not a Bible, is that if a brand does not discuss a feature with you, it's probably because it doesn't have it. Not always true, very often. Uh, decent size power awning on this too. That is one of the things, RVs with big door side slides like this don't usually have good awning space, and this one does. Plus, you can control it remotely from your phone via in command, as well as those awning lights. Uh, Anti-slam entry door isn't going to bang against the side of the trailer. And this being one of the bigger Cougars does have a four-step more ride stable step system as opposed to a three. So that you get that better, uh, easier access and, and more stable feel. Down here between those radials, we do have the uh, Road Armor shock dampening suspension system to give you that uh, smooth ride on the way to your destination or smoother. I'm never going to say that a, uh, you know, towable RV is equally as smooth as, as I don't know, maybe a, a, a air ride motorhome, but you know, considering you could buy four to six of these for the price of one of those air ride motorhomes, I'd say you're doing all right. And a great pass-through baggage compartment on here. Nice and large, plenty of cargo space, uh, big and open, and they, uh, you know, you can see like a couple of the uh, plumbing fixtures here. That's kind of just a necessity based on the floor plan, but they're in off area locations. One of the questions people have is, yeah, but can't shifting cargo damage those? And the answer is no. Shifting cargo can't generate enough uh, kinetic force to, to cause damage to those pipes. Now, on the left, we have our TV hookups, outside TV mount, motion sense lighting, just like we talked about inside. And that big black box is your in-command system with that handy impact resistant shield right there so that shifting cargo doesn't bash up your whole uh, superior wiring and control system. Now there's also a manual switch in there if you need to override anything ever, like for whatever reason, let's say your phone quits working, you can, there's a switch down there, you can always operate your slides and your awning. So you're never going to be without function anytime. Um, awning's also easy tilt, which you don't find on a lot of fifth wheels. It's just a nice consistency feature they have throughout the Cougar family. And there are accent lights on those nose caps. Of course, I forgot to turn them on because I'm cool like that. I do that all the darn time. <laughs> Up top here, we saw Mr. Chris Walken doing some inspections. I kind of like, I left that awning out. I like that color fade. There's no reason you're probably going to be hanging out up here when the awning's open, although I do talk to a lot of people who, you know, on race day, they like to come out here and put chairs on the roof. I don't recommend it, but this RV is perfectly capable of handling you and your buddies up here with a couple chairs. If you're going to do that, first of all, remember, I don't recommend it. Secondly, be safe, please, you know. Also, under your chairs, put like a rug or something. That, uh, so that if you shift in your chair, it doesn't eat its way through your roof membrane. Just be careful that way. Cougars are very good about being heavy-handed with their sealant. You see that little white, I don't know, pod, whatever you want to call it. Uh, that's an attic vent. Uh, that's a, one of the things Cougar did when they upgraded from their polar package to their climate guard, which is what they're calling their zero degree package now. Um, they, uh, they found out that they were holding too much heat in the summertime in the roof of Cougars, so they vented it out and they exhausted like organically the roof now, the attic will stay like 30 degrees cooler. It's a huge difference that prevents your RV from basically turning into a uh, indirect boiler of an oven. So there you have it guys you've seen it top to bottom inside and out quite literally top to bottom so take care stay safe have fun happy camping everyone remember we do not do hidden dealer fees and nobody nobody is too far away to do business with us here at halet rv 
Uh, don't make that assumption. Give us a call. Give us a chance, and you're going to find out why we sell so many RVs out of this sleepy little southern Michigan town right here. Because I love our local folks, but we don't sell this many campers just to the local guys. Keep that in mind. We'll hear from you soon.